Hello pearls, it's monthly grocery shopping day again. If you're new around here, then you need to know that on monthly grocery shopping day, me and this kid and sometimes a few of the other kids are with us. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> In one morning, we go to several different stores and buy everything we can for the month that will last in the fridge, freezer, or pantry for at least 30 days. If you want more details, like exactly what our budget is, how we work it, like the system behind our monthly grocery shopping, then go ahead and check all the links. There's gonna be so many good things down in the description box. If you are interested in seeing how we are going to do our grocery shopping for an entire month right now, in this moment, I'm taking you in the store with us, sharing every single price with you, every single item we're buying. I'm taking you shopping with us for an entire month's worth of groceries on a small budget. More details to come. You're gonna wanna stick around. Welcome back, Pearls. This is Penny's Into Pearls, where I share with you small daily tips that are gonna have a large impact on you actually achieving your goals. What I want you to realize is that when bye you bye. make small adjustments to the way that you're intentionally spending your money, like doing a planned grocery shopping trip, that helps you save money and be able to put it towards your goal-based budget. So. Recently, we've bumped our budget up to $380 for a monthly grocery shopping trip, and then normally spend about $25 to $35 per week on fresh produce and milk. But month of March, actually today is Kennedy's birthday, and then in a few weeks, it's Oliver's birthday, and then a couple days later, it's Hubby's birthday. So we need to save a little bit more money. Yeah, it's my birthday after Daddy's and Mommy's. In the summer, we're trying to save a little bit more money so we can have a little bit um, more flexibility to spend on fun things this month. So my goal, my goal is to to cut it back from 380. Did I say 400? It's 380 for the month, but to actually stick closer to 300 for food, and then we'll still have our normal 160 for non-food items. We're going to Target, we're going to Sprouts, and we're going to Costco. First up, Target. That's impressive. All right, we have a lot to get at Target this time. Before I get the question, why do you shop at Target and not at Walmart? Well, the reason is, in a nutshell, I enjoy the shopping experience a million times more at Target. I end up frustrated because they're ha missing half the stuff at Walmart. So here I am. But if we ever get grocery pickup at Walmart here, that might change the story. So we've got a giant list here at Target. This is all the food, this is all the non-food, and then we have Costco and Sprouts. One bottle of Green Works. It's 32 ounces for $2.99. This is my favorite, favorite multi-purpose cleaner. It smells good. It works amazing. Anyone have any recommendations on a shower cleaner where like you spray it and leave it? I've never bought one before, but we definitely need one. So I think I'm just gonna go with the Scrubbing Bubbles Daily Shower Cleaner, $2.99 for a 32 ounce bottle. We ran out of stain remover. I used to get Shout, but you guys recommended the OxyClean Oxy stain remover. This is my favorite now. So it's a refill for 56 ounces, 519. You guys know we do our dishes by hand, so we are going through these pretty fast these days. So we're getting a refill for those guys. It's a three pack for 459. I get the lasting finish, um, Remmel. Remmel? Remmel? Anyways, concealer for $4.99. Anyone have any good recommendations for a, like a daily cleanser? I mean, it doesn't have to be something that's just affordable. I'm giving this one a try. I don't really have acne, but I do get breakouts along my jawline. So giving this a try, the Up and Up brand. It's the pink grapefruit acne wash for $4.79 and it is a 6.7 ounce bottle. All right, I'm going out for some new foundation. I'm going to try the Super Stay from Maybelline up to 24 hours. It's one ounce for $10. For some more hair ties, we're getting the Goody brand out. Oh no, not these ones. No, 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 not those ones. Mom, these ones, 17 count for Mom. 250. Best dry shampoo, best value. It's the Batiste. You guys told me about it on Instagram. It's $5.99 for a 6.7 ounce bottle. 
got to be glued. It is $4.69 and that is six ounces. Need some more toothpaste. We're getting the Colgate Sparkling White $1.99 for an eight ounce tube. I'm gonna try this out. Colgate Watermelon Burst for the kids. It's $3.69. Mouthwash, it's the Listerine Nightly Reset. $5.99 for 800 milliliters. Hmm. 10 slices of Swiss cheese for on sale for $2. Little can of sliced olives for $1.49. 12 ounce thing of honey, $3.59. I used to get honey at Costco, but we just don't go through that much honey, so. Bit of ranch mix for $1.79. 32 ounces of beef stock for $1.99. Talking back up on ranch for the kids, it's $1.79 for an eight, 16 ounce bottle. We're gonna get two things of croutons, $1.69. All right, what'd you get, Mav? <laughs> what is it? Ketchup. Ketchup. It is $1.99 for a 30 ounce, 38 ounce bottle. I discovered this organic Simply Balanced when we were doing Whole30. It's only 209 for 24 ounces and there's no added sugar. Oh, we're getting two of them. 259 for jasmine rice. I don't feel like they've had jasmine rice in the um, Target brand before. Two pound bag. Can't do Hawaiian haystacks without the chow mein noodles. 159 for a 12 ounce bag. Getting a box of spaghetti noodles for a dollar and then we also need the bow tie pasta for 99 cents each. Las Palmas mild enchilada sauce. It is a 28 ounce can for 209. Corn tortillas, the mission corn tortillas are my favorite. So it's 25 ounces for 219. Two two pound bags of light brown sugar for $2 each. We're gonna get two packages of the Quaker strawberries and cream oatmeal to put our snow clothes away in because our old bucket broke. So it's $9.99 for, I don't know, oh, it's 70 quart bucket. Stocking back up on printer paper. Oh, how much is it? $4.49 for 500 each. All right, we got pretty much everything. I was wanting to get an entry mat for our front porch, but they didn't really have any. They had one, but I didn't want it. So anyways, so our totals for food should be around 56, and then our total for non-food items should be around 59, because I didn't get the welcome mat, but I did add this bucket on there, and then also printer paper I forgot. So that equals out to 15, which is how much the welcome mat was. So, oh, and then plus tax. So when I do this, because we use the cash envelope system, I do separate it into two transactions, one for food and then one for non-food, and then I use the corresponding cash envelope. Let's go to the checkout and see how we did. Okay, so for non-food, I was pretty far off actually. Taxes were about $6, so I was about $10 off total because it was 82. I was expecting it to be about six, so I was $15 off around there. So, but that's okay, I still had plenty of room in the budget for that to occur, so we're doing okay still. Then for food, the total was $46.34, and I was expecting it to be $56. So we saved some money there, which is great. It'll help us get closer to our $300 goal. See, Mom, it threw the hole. Yeah. Gotta make sure you pack a lunch for the kiddos when you do monthly grocery shopping, huh, Mav? Oh. Yeah, that's a pretty cool machine, huh? I forgot to mention that I do share a monthly meal plan every single month and it's totally free. If you download the PDF, all of the uh, meals are a clickable link to the recipe. Um, if you wanna see what we're making with all the groceries and how it's actually gonna feed us for an entire month, then um, go check the links in the description box to get that meal plan. My friend Melissa shared this um, tomato paste on her Instagram, so thanks Melissa. It's $1.49 for a five ounce. It's not a jar. It's a resealable tube. You know how you always buy like the tiny little like 50 cent tomato paste, but you never use it all, but you can reseal this and put it in your fridge. You're crazy. You're crazy. I need some good side veggies. So one, I'm gonna go with broccoli. I always love roasted broccoli and that is $1.99 a pound. Get one head of romaine lettuce for $1.49 each. One green bell pepper for 77 cents each, and then one red bell pepper, four for five. We're gonna get one of these jumbo Haas avocados for 
a dollar fifty each. Those will be good for salad. Red seedless grapes are ninety eight cents a pound, which means it's time to stock up. Three lemons, two for one. I really need a lemon tree. That's expensive. Always need to have bananas at the house. Fifty nine cents a pound. Asparagus for a side veggie, $1.98 per pound. Red onion, $1.29 a pound. Okay, round roast are on sale for $2.99 a pound, and London broils on sale for $2.99 a pound. I'm gonna maybe rethink my purchases today. If raw meat makes you grossed out, you might wanna skip ahead like 30 seconds. The meat was on a really good sale. It's normally like $4 per pound more, so I'm gonna stock up on a bunch of red meat because we rarely get red meat because it's so expensive. So I'm gonna actually use couponing money to pay for the red meat that I'm gonna get. Some of it we'll eat this month, some of it I'll freeze and use for our meal plan next month. So meat will be on my couponing budget. Look in the um, description for a video on how we work that budget. And then the rest is actually gonna come from my weekly grocery shopping budget because anything fresh usually comes from that budget anyway. That's how we're working it here. And then we also are getting pita bread to go with one of our meals. It's $2.29 for six loaves. Hey, you can't eat ice out of there. All right, my receipts are in the back of the car. And who's gonna get out of the car to go get the receipts? Not this girl. Let me just tell you that out of the coupon money, I used about $60. Does that <coughs> So $60 and I got a lot of meat. You guys saw it. So I got a lot of meat, so most of that's gonna be frozen and then you'll see it in next month's meal plan. See how that works? You like stock up with your like sales slash couponing cash budget um, and then freeze the meat because meat freeze is awesome and then meal plan off of what's in your freezer. That's how you take advantage of the sales and still only do monthly meal planning, stacking even more savings on top of it. So $60 on meat for my couponing budget. And then for the weekly grocery, like fresh groceries, my budget um, is between 25 and 35. It's 35, I have $35 per week in cash, but I'm trying to save some of that money so we can use it on treats for birthdays. So it was $28, so not bad. Okay, Costco's your last stop. $3.69 per pound for 88% lean ground beef. Guacamole's on sale. On sale, 22 ounce little containers of the holy guacamole, so it's super clean ingredients. And what's the best thing about these is that you can freeze them and they defrost and taste exactly the same, same texture, same everything. Best price on Feta, 24 ounces for $6.89. Kirkland brand paper towels, $15.99. And then I'm also getting the Kirkland toilet paper, $16.99. We're gonna get the Ziploc. There's four packages of 38 each for the gallon Ziploc bags and then we're also gonna get the four count of a hundred and I mean four boxes of 145 count for 11.59 of the sandwich ziploc bags Kirkland brand popcorn you guys if you watch my Instagram know I love it 44 bags for 9.79 this would almost be a joke if I bought this seven dollars worth of flaming hot Cheetos should I get them if they'll destroy my stomach no yes no, yes, no. <sighs> I think I'll just leave them here. Oh, I love them. Three pound bag of protein chips for $3.49. Amazing price. You know what, I had soda on my list, but I think, somebody mentioned this before, so thank you to the Pearl who mentioned this on Instagram. $11.79 for 35 cans. I think I can get them better on sale at like a grocery store or Walmart or something like that and get a variety. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'll save the money and then do it when I do my weekly fresh grocery shopping trip. Five pounds of the Dino Buddies chicken nuggets for $12.59. $16.49 for three pounds of the tilapia. $18.39 for the Tyson boneless skinless chicken breast. 10 pounds. But these are on sale this month for only $8.39, so they're about $4 cheaper than this. So I think we're gonna go with these ones, give these ones a try this month. $8.39 for a five dozen cart of eggs. 
two two and a half pound bags of pre-shredded mozzarella for $10.49. $11.49 for two two and a half pound bags of the shredded Mexican blend cheese. Two pound block of sharp cheddar cheese for $4.99. Hubby and I went through two bags of these last month. $15.99 for 40 ounces of dried mangoes. There's no sugar added, it's just pure dried mangoes. They're delicious. $5.59 for a 25 pound bag of flour at Costco. The best. $6.99 for two 64 ounce bottles of the only syrup Oliver likes. Log cabin. Oh, it's heavy. Oh. $8.99 for two 35 ounce bags of frosted mini wheats. $3.99 for a giant 44 ounce loaf of sourdough bread. So yummy. $10.99 for the cattle drive eight cans of chili. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. $7.79 for wheat thins, two 20 ounce bags. $9.99 for 45 one ounce bags of goldfish. All right, we got everything. Oh, I did add these $10. I saved some money to other places, so I think it's gonna balance out to right where we are. Wish us luck, it is crowded here. Pearls at Costco, I do one transaction because everything's like puzzle pieced into the cart. It's too hard to separate it into two transactions. So I did all the adjustments to estimate that it'd be 228 for food and then more adjustments and estimated it'd be about 63 and then plus tax for non-food. So 22 or 228 plus 63 is 291 is what I was expecting. And then I was expecting there to be a little bit more for taxes, but a nice surprise was that it was actually a little bit below that. It was 286, which is great news. Now don't forget, I'm still gonna be using a little bit of money to stock up on some soda because mama needs some caffeine some days, just saying. But Overall, we did awesome. We came in, so our monthly budget's usually 380 for food. But remember, we're trying to save, I was trying to stick around the 300 mark. Well, we spent just around two, uh, yeah, 283. So that's awesome. We have a little bit of money left to get the soda, and then um, we still have $80 to put towards birthdays this month. So that was perfect. And then miscellaneous, our budget's 160, and we came in at 159, just around there. So you guys, I hope you learned something from our grocery haul. It's fun to see like what there is to get at the stores, mm -hmm. but I also hope that I can leave you with some knowledge. So what I want you to do is some take some action, Pearl. And when you are getting ready to go grocery shopping, I do not want you to go to the store unless you have a list and then stick to the list and if you need to make adjustments you make adjustments and give up somewhere else in order to spend that money somewhere right the money has to come from somewhere yeah all right thanks for watching you guys don't forget to go and check out yesterday's video download the free meal planning and a budget toolkit and i will talk to you very soon oh i think comments are still disabled Bye. if they are follow me on instagram and we can chat there we'll talk to you soon Bye. Bye.